As the capital of central Java, Semarang city is growing at astonishing speed. Semarang is the fifth largest city in Indonesia after Jakarta, Surabaya, Medan, and Bandung. In the colonial period, Semarang was built into a port city to transport extracted natural resources from the central Java. Semarang has attracted many peoples and becomes a center of activity that turns the wheel of the economy. To support all of these activities, the government has built various infrastructures ranging from housing to industrial complex. Behind this overwhelming growth, Semarang faces a threat. The city is sinking. In Tanjung Mas Harbor, we can find evidence that proves that the city is sinking. The road is already lower than the sea. Almost every day, this harbor faces coastal floods disrupting its activities. Some of its spaces have been submerged and abandoned. While the land is sinking, the sea level is rising. These are a dangerous combination. Uh, one of the buildings that is impacted by the land subsidence. Land subsidence happen in this area is around 13 cm per year. Is uh, at least we have uh, four. One is uh, the compaction of the alluvial uh, land. The second one is the uncontrolled groundwater abstraction. The third one is uh, the weight of the building and infrastructure. So the building and infrastructure here are growing very fast. So that weight impacted a pressure to the land. And the fourth one is the uh, fault, local fault. To protect here. its city from drowning, the government has tried several projects. They built retention ponds to accommodate overflowing water. They used pumps to drain the water back to the sea. Smarang development has also affected the surrounding area. About 3 kilometers east of Semarang lies Sayung district. This district has lost over 2,000 hectares of land. Over the past 20 years, the coastline has shifted nearly 6 kilometers. The, the, the phenomena is almost similar between Semarang and also the Sayung, Dema, or Bedolo, almost similar. Uh, land subsidence is the main factor on that side and sea level rise and also the tide moving up to the land. That is the main factor. The land subsidence happen inundation in the coastal area and wave and current coming and the coastal erosion impact on that region. When the tide is high, the seawater drowns the houses. It happened almost every day. When it recedes, the seawater leaves or pieces scattered through the neighborhood. It threatens the health of the residents. The government has relocated some of its residents, but some still choose to stay. At the deep of the mainland, we can find a family that still lived in a drowned house. To adapt to the situation, they need to raise the floor of their home. The water level is increased every year and it made the cost too expensive for them. So they choose to raise the floor with a pile of shells they found. Not only the house of the living, but the coastal flood also affects the house of the deceased. Villagers adapt to it by raising the surface of the cemetery. They used rock and stone instead of soil to bury the deceased.
we then met Hafid, a villager from Bedona district who was born and grew up there. He took us to visit Tambaksari, the village where he was born. Over the years, the ocean occupied the land of Tambaksari. Mulai sejak tahun 1997. Jadi di sini dulu Betono ini adalah uh, dulunya daratan. Jadi lautnya masih jauh sekali. You can still see the building of houses that sank and abandoned. There were 60 families live here. The government has already relocated them to a safer land. Uh, dulunya uh, apa? punya tambak, petani tambak. Tapi sekarang tambaknya sudah hilang jadi laut. Jadi sekarang hanya nelayan jaring pakai kapal kecil. The government then designated the area as a mangrove conservation. To slow the process of abrasion, residents try hybrid engineering. They built embankments made of bamboo. This embankment is used to capture sedimentation so they can plant the mangrove. A marine scientist of Diponegoro University, Rudy Pribadi, told us that restoring mangrove could be the best investment for the future. Well, mangrove can be a good solution, but we also have to think about that mangrove can only grow in certain conditions. If it's the abrasions or the landslides still happening, or still have a big influence to the mangrove, so they, they can't grow very well. Uh, if the condition is suitable for them, even though we, we didn't uh, do a plantation, they will grow very well. The economic value of mangrove forests might not be seen directly for the villagers. However, the environmental benefit is priceless. Moreover, it supports the ecosystems to sustain and grow. We're still learning, we still hope that uh, one day we, we can really uh, make it uh, better by especially uh, running either uh, economic uh, benefits and the environmental also can be worked together so uh, the condition will be uh, much better soon.